all, all I heard was, can the can? I mean, that's all I heard. Everything else was just like little neurons and synapses exploding in my brain. I mean, my, my brain literally exploded. And everybody says to me that they were in shock. That was their first thing. They went, what the hell is that? Wednesday, we're walking around a load of nobodies still, and um, we watched Top of the Pops in our little black and white telly. Susie and me in, in our little uh, flat. Of course, it came out and went bloody ape shit. <laughs> Just like that. Bloody hell. We're going to have a beer. Oh, my God. Yeah, I can remember going into the pub to celebrate after our first Top of the Pop appearance. And uh, I honestly had no idea what to expect. And uh, we walked in, and people started screaming, That's the girl. That's the girl. Absolute mayhem. Oh, oh shit. Yeah, it's scary. So I ran out the door, and uh, I realized in that moment that that was the end of my previous life. She is super fierce, and she's just being herself. She's not, uh, she's not really threatening. She's just got these dudes behind her, and she's the total, totally in charge. And she's this firecracker who is just throwing down with the talent and the the energy and the youthfulness and um, it's incredibly empowering, I think. And Susie's tiny. She's a tiny little thing, you know? It's like, wow, all that thunder coming out of this little girl. And there's the fact that it's n I've never seen a woman with an instrument in a band. It's never, ever occurred to me that that could happen, that that could be. You could see where where her impact was in in like the imagery of a lot of female musicians. And there have been so many female musicians that have followed Susie Quattro. So she was very much out on her own as a female singing and playing an instrument and fronting a band. And there weren't many. I don't I don't know if there were any when she came out. The basic uh, sort of rock and roll, roots rock music that Susie Quattro was doing kind of had a big part in informing what to come, what came after, which was kind of, you know, punk rock. She wore the jumpsuit, she wore leather, she had, you know, a, a non-fussy hairdo. You know, she was a natural beauty, she didn't wear a lot of makeup. People who are attractive and they're not playing the sexy card, that makes them even sexier. She just had this like perfect little pouty innocent face was just adorable maybe girls were trained to not aspire to those things to say like i can't do that and it takes a susie quattro to come along to say this is possible